Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll see how you can go ahead and use Excel scripts from Power Apps. My name is Clavin and I work as a technical consultant. You can find my blog at clavinfernandes.wordpress.com and my Twitter handle is at the rate Clavin Fernandes. So for the purpose of this demo we are going to go ahead and use a very simple example that is we are going to go ahead and create a hexadecimal to decimal converter. So our app will look something like this. Our app has few controls if you see to the left it has a label. The label will go ahead and display the result returned by our excel script. There's a button. The button is associated to a flow and we have a text input. So if I play this button and if I click maybe A and if I click on the button you'll see that the ants are marching so you know that there is a flow behind and A returns me 10 so this is the correct value. So let's go ahead and see the power automate behind the button. So we have a power apps trigger and then we have a compose action which we go ahead and pass back to our power app and we pass in the text input so you see out here this is what is being passed then we have an excel run script action which goes ahead and calls a script does all the heavy lifting and it returns us a hexadecimal string so let me show you the script as well so you might be guessing it's so difficult to convert decimal to hexadecimal so there might be a lot of things out here in the script right so this is our script this script if you see is a one-liner I'm using the TypeScript function directly to go ahead and convert hexadecimal string and if you look out here there is a hex string as an input and if I go to the flow you will see that I'm passing the output which is returned by power app. Finally I pass the result back to my power app and it is getting displayed right so this is 10. So this is our app. So this is off about the power app. Now this app is good it works for me I'm going to share the app and I'm going to share the app with my colleague Megan okay so now everything works for me why don't I share it with my colleagues so if you see it goes ahead and tells me it will need data permissions and it will need the Excel online business I click share yes Megan has that permission so I'll just drag and drop in Megan's power apps portal so if I click on refresh now I'll click on the app and here the first thing comes into my mind it's telling me to log in as Megan let's click allow for now but this is one screen you need to remember okay it's very important I will type in A and I'll click on the button the ants are marching and I get an error as well it tells the server did not receive a response so it's right I did not go ahead and receive a response as well in my power apps okay so I'll do some investigation I'll go back to mod admin I'll go back here and I'll see that my flow has failed if I click on my flow it tells me the script is not found and if you think of this error does this error make sense yes right this script that I'm running which is known as a hex script does Megan have access of it no why so because the scripts that I create are stored in my personal OneDrive you see out here and if I go back to Megan's OneDrive it will not be there now I can go ahead and share the script with Megan but will it work the answer is no the reason being if you go ahead and expand the run script action and if you click on peak code you'll see that this is also associated with a drive ID and the files are specifically a GUID 
So this will every time try to go ahead and connect with my credentials and it will search my personal OneDrive. Now this is a problem and in this tutorial we are going to address that. To address the problem I will go back to my Power Apps portal as mod admin not as Megan and I will click on solutions. So let me add a new solution I'll name it Excel script demo just select any publisher and click create so I'll click on new and I'll add an app on the app I will add few of the controls the first being the text input I'll rename the label to hexadecimal to decimal I'll change the label I'll make the label a little bit more attractive so maybe 45 on the button I'll associate a power automate but do we have a power automate in our solution no so let me add a power automate or a flow and the flow will be a cloud flow the flow will take inputs from power apps so I'll select the power app and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a compose and I'll say ask in power app I'll just rename this to hex valve and I'll give it a name so remember one thing we want to share the connections if we create a direct flow the sh sharing of connections is not possible the sharing of connections is only possible when you go ahead and use a manual trigger or if you create a parent child relationship so this will be hex parent remember we are going to create a child flow as well so I'll just save it for now I'll go back to my power app so on this button I want to associate the flow that I just created so I'll click on action I'll click on power automate and hex parent is the name of my flow hex parent it is I'll add the flow now what this flow will do it will pass the data from my power app into this variable so I just need to add text input one dot text so that it takes the data and passes it in so I can just pass something like an A and if I click on the button this flow should trigger and it triggered and it should have a value A now there are no actions which do the heavy lifting that call the Excel script and as I told you we are going to do that to do that we have to create a child flow so I can type in child and space flow run a child flow but the question out here do we have a child flow right now no right so I want to add a child flow within this solution so hex parent is there and I'm going to add child as well so a child flow is usually a manual flow as I told you if you want to share the connections you need to have a manual flow and in this I will just take it as input text say hex number and here I'm going to call my Excel run script action of my file on which I want to run the script so I'll say SharePoint site I'll select the document library as Excel demo remember Excel scripts run on a file the Excel has a code editor but within an Excel file so I'm selecting an Excel file and what is our script name our script name is the hex script so let's wait as soon as I select the hex script it will ask me for a value so here I can pass the value that I have initialized in my manual trigger and hex number so here I will add a new action and the new action is I want to send the data back so respond to power apps of flow I can give it an input I will name it decimal and I'll pass the result out here and this is my child hex 
okay so I have a parent flow and I, ha I have a child flow so let me get my child flow just beside the parent flow so this is the parent flow right and I have a child flow so I in the drop down my hex child should be visible so child hex is visible so if I expand this I have hex number I can pass in this number and I can click on save so as soon as I click on save it tells me update the child flow action run a child flow to use a run only user now this is what I mean in the child flow I can go ahead and add a run only user and if you are guessing right with me you know which user I'm going to choose so I can click on edit and for this action I'll say not provided by the run only user but use my, cr my credentials and I'll click OK and I'll click on save so now the flow will run under my user context I'll go back here I'll click on save so now I can go back to my power app and I can click on the button and associate the power automate again so I can just click on hex parent and I can add the value out here but we need another thing as well right we need to pass in the value such that the value should be visible out here so the result that is being processed by my child flow out here decimal should be visible in my power app but is my parent flow returning anything no correct so we need to fix that thing first so to fix that thing I need to add a respond action so respond to power apps I can click on text and I can say I want to return the hex to decimal and I can pass in the value for my child flow so remember the child flow is doing the heavy lifting and creating a value and returning us a value in result which is stored in decimal and decimal is being stored in hexadecimal which is being returned to our power apps don't get confused it's just a concept okay and it's not difficult so I'll go back to my flow and I'll save this first and I'll run my flow or associate my flow and this time it's going to be the parent flow itself and I can say text input one dot text and if I hit the dot you see I get hex to decimal so that is what I need and I can set it to a value so say that I want to set it to decimal and the decimal value that I will get I want to pass it to this label I'll click on file and I'll save my app first so I'll save my flow or I'll save my power app I'll go ahead and share it as well I'll share it with Megan my friend because that is the user that I'm going to test with and if you see it's not telling me to share my Excel action okay that's that's pretty positive till now so everything is being shared and everything looks good so I can just go back here and let me first test it before Megan test will test it so I'll put in B maybe and I'll click on the button if you see there are ants marching and it should trigger my parent flow out here yes it just triggered four seconds ago and it should also trigger my child flow if you see 11 seconds ago and if everything went right I should have 11 so this is working awesome for me and I'm going to take you in as Megan so let me refresh my Megan screens now Megan clicks on this app and boom first things first Megan does not have a prompt so now if Megan types in AB 
I hope there's some hexadecimal number related to AB. She gets 171. So let me quickly Google and check AB hexadecimal to decimal. Yes, it's 171. So here, my friends, I have just shown you how you can use Excel scripts with Power App. Isn't that awesome? Thank you for being with me and thank you for your time.